Hello, this is Shaky Java here with a uh, an homage to DORU42's building of a portafilter based pressure gauge. I'm going to show you an even cheaper way of doing it by using your steam wand and uh, just a hose to connect your steam wand to the pressure gauge. This is a very beginner's uh, video, so I have some very basic elements here, first of which is uh, be safe when working with high pressure systems and making sure that you are using um, all proper technique and practices. So for the first timers here, if you go to Home Depot and you're looking or Lowe's or wherever to try and buy some parts, you'll probably be presented with a huge raft of very confusing uh, choices. Um, the key to keep in mind is that uh, there's a lot of stuff there that will look like this that might be for copper tubing, but just make sure you're getting all the brass fittings and that everything is one quarter inch and you'll probably be pretty good to go. More expert people can do things differently, but I opted for the uh, simplest way. Um, I purchased all of this equipment here at a local Lowe's. Um, it includes a pressure gauge, which I found um, not necessarily in the plumbing department, but over in the air pressure hose section, which is near the tools tool section is where I picked up a couple of these crescent wrenches, um, excuse me, whatever the non-branding name for crescent wrench is made by uh, Lowe's. I have a uh, D connector, or I don't know why I call it a D, but a, a connector uh, to connect my valve. And I came up with a basic design here that looks a little bit like this. Um, tube to go to the steam wand, uh, clamp for the hose to connect that to the steam wand, a connector for the hose, inner diameter hose connector to the one quarter inch uh, NPT or, inner, or uh, brass fitting, a T to connect the gauge itself, and a release valve. And the release valve is important because you want to make sure that you have primed your pump. And this is typically uh, good for setting up a wand pressure gauge. It's typically good for use with a uh, single boiler dual use or dual use single boiler uh, machine so that a machine that uses the same uh, boiler for brewing as it does for steaming milk. Otherwise if you have separate boilers this won't help you a whole lot with the temperature uh, regulation of your boiler. So um, key also to tying all your fittings is a little Teflon tape and so now I'm going to wrap some of uh, Teflon tape uh, around some of these in a very simple way and then uh, I'll probably edit the video a little bit to save everybody some trouble, but this is for people who may never have seen this before, which is very simple. You just wrap this stuff around. Very, there we go. And then, uh, of course, I didn't bring any tape. So I'm going to put the first fitting together there. Just wrap that. Whoop. I should have wrapped it the other way. I should have wrapped my tape, or did I wrap it the right way? Well, you should wrap in the direction you're wrapping. You're threading your screws, of course. So there we go. That will fit in there quite nicely. And I will work on the rest of this, connecting it off camera. And then we will tighten it up. OK, now I have assembled the parts in their basic kind of positions. I haven't tightened anything down, because one thing you want to do is Think about, um, hey, where is your machine coming from and um, how is it going to be laid out on your counter? Now, for me, my steam wand, I have a Gadget Classic, uh, my steam wand is on the right side of the machine. So the tube will be coming from this direction. I have assembled it in my loose configuration so that the, the nipple is over here that's going to go into the hose. Now, if I rearrange it, clearly the valve is going to be on the, the right side of the machine, but the the uh, gauge is going to be reading the wrong way. So when I tighten everything down, I kind of want to make sure that I can read everything. And so, and I haven't used my pliers, which will apply the best pressure for that. But I kind of want it to end up like this and maybe something like this so that when the wand is coming from this, the right side, it's feeding pressure in here, I can read my gauge and I can control my valve. So this is kind of the way I want to end up. So all I'm going to do... And I highly recommend using crescent wrenches because using pliers will start to tear up your brass fittings and they won't look as nice and pretty. But I'm going to um, do some of that and then we will be back to you as well. Okay, 
here is the finished assembly. Well, not almost finished. I just want to show one more thing. Uh, the gauge is easy to read. It's in front. My hose is going to be coming from the left. And this is for complete beginners. So these of you, those of you who haven't even done this, uh, all it takes to get the bracket clamp uh, put in place is you get the hose that the man at the uh, Home Depot or the woman was nice enough to cut for you down to size. They have nicer cutting tools than, than you might have at home. And then you can just stick that fitting into the tube and then make sure that the bracket is over that fitting and then you can tighten it down. Now some people have pointed out, uh, rightly so, there may be safety concerns with attaching things this way. I just recommend that you tighten them down as tight as you can uh, to make sure that you have a good seal and then the, again always be wearing safety goggles and uh, you know coverings and you should be fine I believe I don't think I mean this is what people use to uh, clamp things down in cars and automobiles so I think we'll be alright so and I've seen it in other practices as well so we're gonna tighten all this up and uh, thank you for watching this and uh, if you have any questions please let me know I'll try and respond to them as quickly as possible again thanks so much to um, D-U-D-O-R-U-4-2 who built something similar and to the fine people over at the uh, Yahoo Gaja users group, in particular Tex. And I believe he has some videos on here as well. So thanks again and uh, I'll have another video showing this in action.